Hey guys, Bobby here, and uh, I have <laughs> my Spyderco Sage 1. And uh, the reason I brought this out is because I've been traveling for the last couple weeks, and you know, I, this is pretty much the only knife I had on me. Every time I travel, this is the knife that I bring up that I uh, bring with me. And you know, I do that because well, it's a three inch blade, so you know, it's pretty much legal just about anywhere, uh, anywhere I travel anyway and I, I like the nice discreet pocket clip so it clips on nice uh, you know khaki pants or whatever you have it's very discreet like I said it has a nice classy look so you could you know bring it to the office and you know I brought other knives with me before and sometimes I hate it when uh, TSA will scratch it or something they might search your baggage and you know they kinda just throw everything else back in and so something might ding into your knife and that's how one of my paramilitaries actually got scratched and then I just started carrying this and I like it you know you could get this on Amazon for probably about I think I bought mine right around a hundred dollars Amazon is always I found it to be the cheapest place um, super fast deployment you know I, I like it a lot I like the ergonomics of it though because you know pretty much if you have uh, big hands you see how much room I still have there uh, no matter what size you are, I think this would, you know, uh, suffice as a EDC knife. Uh, very, very well. I mean, I, I, <clears throat> of course, you know, Sage Series is very popular and it's popular for a reason. Uh, just love the grind on it. It's a, you know, full flat grind done right. I really like the liner lock. And it's just a great knife. Uh, sure, you guys, and it's a very popular knife, so... Uh, I'll just do a couple size comparisons. As you guys can see, uh, that's the domino right there. A lot of people say they, you know, they look the same. Domino's a little bigger, and you can see the the difference in blade shape there. Which, you know, honestly, I found the Sage <laughs> actually cuts better. But uh, and of course, here's the the Sage Two, which you know, out of the two Sages. You know, I always go back and forth on which one I, I like more, and I mean, that could change day to day, you know, just kind of depends how I feel. Of course, I love the all titanium and the, you know, the Chris Reeve integral lock, frame lock, and, you know, so I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, but this one's $50, $50 more, right around there. So, you know, I don't know, I go back and forth all the time, like I said. Let's see, boom. And of course, mm, the Spider Go Techno. But, <clears throat> and this is just a really great EDC knife. Uh, you know, it's actually, I mean, I can't really think of a task that you can't do with this. Uh, it has a good shaped blade. Uh, it's very sturdy, very well built. You see, there is no blade play at all. Um, so, you know, it's nice and elegant, can do EDC tasks, can do heavy duty tasks, pretty much anything you can use it for. We were actually uh, talking about this knife in the office the other day, and I have a friend that wants to get his first, you know, like a real good quality. He's looking for a Spyderco, and, you know, for the reasons that, I, you know, I said that, you know, you could travel with this, the three inch blade, all that. You know, this is what I recommended and you know some people might say oh the paramilitary but <clears throat> because it's not you know uh, when you travel you know three and a half inch uh, you know some places you can't bring that where this can go anywhere so but just overall you know great knife I just want to talk about it because I said it's all I've been carrying for the last two weeks while I've been gone so it's good to be back <laughs> and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks bye